Hello, sewing people, uh, welding people of the internet. Uh, so if you're new to my channel, I normally make sewing videos, but I had a welding project to do today, and I thought it would be fun to share that project because welding and sewing are actually quite similar. Uh, quick disclaimer, uh, I have about 10 years of professional experience as a welder. Uh, it's possible that I've learned some bad habits over those years that could be quite dangerous. I'm not a qualified welding instructor, and what I'm showing here is just for entertainment purposes and to maybe encourage you to go out and learn a new skill. I won't be responsible if you try to do anything that I do in this video and end up blowing up your house, setting yourself on fire, electrocuting yourself, or otherwise being hurt or killed. So uh, definitely seek out proper instruction if you want to try this. The project I have today is this table that I made with my father-in-law in this shop uh, probably 15 years ago. And through a couple of moves and because of the way we welded part of it on, uh, it needs some repair. So I need to re-weld one of these cross braces on and I need to re-weld the top on. The method I'm going to use today is called TIG welding, which stands for Tungsten Inert Gas Welding, also known as GTAW or Gas Tungsten Arc Welding. It's probably not the best place to start if you are a beginner to welding. And the way I'm going to be doing it is a little bit of a compromise for me. The vast majority of my experience welding is with TIG welding, but it was using a foot pedal to control the amount of heat that it's put into the work. This torch only has an on-off switch on the handle to operate with your thumb. So uh, you're probably going to see some awkward and not particularly beautiful welding from me today. Uh, other methods you can use are oxyacetylene or oxyfuel welding. Uh, shielded metal arc welding or stick welding, which I could do with this machine, but it doesn't give me the kind of control I want uh, because I have different thicknesses of metal and welding together. Somebody who's better at it than I am might have no problem with it, but I would have a problem. Uh, and then the most common that you've probably seen is MIG welding or wire feed welding, uh, where you, you pull a trigger on a gun and wire comes out and makes the puddle and is the electrode at the same time. Um, MIG is probably the easiest welding to learn, but it's not that easy to do well, uh, and I don't have a MIG welder here, so I'm going to TIG weld this. First I need to prepare the surfaces to be welded by grinding off mill scale and rust and try to get as clean material as I can. All right, so the table is back together, but it does wobble a little bit uh, because the floor is not flat. Yeah, that's it. It's not because I made the table crooked, it's the floor. So to help me with that problem, I've got these adjusting feet. So I'm gonna weld these tabs onto the bottoms of the legs, and that way I can adjust the table so it sits flat on the crooked floor.
I had a hole in my glove. That doesn't feel good. So there you have it, I've welded the table back together and now I can use it to do some other welding projects. This is a really small welding table. Um, I don't do a lot of welding anymore and this will be enough for the kind of project that I might want to do in this space. This was barely an introduction to welding. As I said before, there's uh, a lot more to this uh, and you, you should educate yourself if you want to try it. But if you have an interest in learning to weld, you can do that. I mean, you don't have to have any special skill or talent to do it. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting. Uh, if you want to know more about welding, there's plenty on YouTube to look for, uh, so dig in. Uh, if you tune in for the welding and are still here, uh, maybe check out some of my sewing videos. If you have questions or comments, post them in the comments section below. If you liked it, click the thumbs up. Thanks very much for watching.